Hey, I'm Shannon. You might already know that because it is all over my channel, but I am relatively new here. So I thought I'd take a minute to introduce myself. So hi, I'm Shannon Fiedler. I'm a comedian, a writer, an actress, and a content creator. You might recognize me from here, or maybe here, or maybe you know me as someone entirely different, like Manhattan woman, or Boston girl, or DC girl, or any of the other 13 city girls that I consider to be the 13 other pieces of my personality. But for simplicity's sake, Let's keep it easy. I'm Shannon Fiedler. But if you are interested in any of those other things or those other characters, you can subscribe to my channel to see longer bits and cool behind the scenes content that I'm not posting anywhere else. But anyway, let's start with the basics while we get some coffee. Where do we start? Let's see, I'm in my 30s. You know, I've noticed that people do usually give their age when they're doing these things, but I've also noticed that those people are usually 23. So I'm just gonna give the decade and we're gonna stick with that. I'm in my 30s, I am an only child. I know, don't hate me, but I think I'm relatively well adjusted or as well adjusted as anyone can be whose career requires a microphone. Let's see, I just got married. I am originally from Connecticut, which is probably why Connecticut Girl was my first ever character, but I did live in Manhattan for 10 years, and while there is a lot of debate on what makes you a true New Yorker, I think 10 years is enough to make me a real Manhattan woman, and I'm a full-time comedian. I started doing stand-up in 2018, but honestly, being a comedian had never been on my radar before that. It's so funny because looking back on it, it's so obvious to me that comedy is where I was supposed to land. My mom always joked, Shannon never met a spotlight she didn't like. Only child, remember? And sure, that might sound a little try-hard or a little pick-me or just plain annoying, but for me, it was just what I wanted to do. I felt like I needed to be performing and making people smile. The place where I performed the most when I was growing up was the ice. Yeah, this is something I don't talk about a lot in my content or on stage, but I spent the majority of my youth as a competitive figure skater. By the time I got to college, I was no longer skating. I majored in theater and English, two degrees that are famous for having tons of job prospects. But it didn't matter to me. I didn't need a job because I was going to move to New York City and become an actress. And I hated it. I was miserable, I was exhausted, I was discouraged, I was burning out. And so you know what I did? I quit. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that one coming. This is the story of a quitter. And you know what? It was the best thing I could have done at that moment. And I'm gonna give you a bit of an earnest side note here. If you're doing something because it's your passion, when it's what you love and you're chasing a dream and you stop loving it, it might be time to walk away. You never know where life is gonna lead you. In fact, it might lead you full circle like me and back to the industry that you thought you were walking away from. But regardless, don't do it if you don't love it. I digress. So I decided the actor life was not the life for me and I thought I'd pursue the other thing I was passionate about and the other skill set I had, which was writing. And that led me to a career in advertising. That's right, I was Don Draper, but less problematic. I was Peggy Olson, but less annoying. I was Shannon Fiedler, Associate Creative Director. And honestly, kind of loving it. Working in ads was fun. I was writing commercials. I got to produce them on set. I was flying literally all over the world to pitch ideas to major companies to make content that people were gonna see. And I was being paid to write, which is kind of the dream. And unlike my unsuccessful actor year, I had stability, which let me tell you, does wonders for your mental health but I really missed performing. And then one day a friend said to me, you know, you kind of remind me of Mrs. Maisel. And honestly, that was all it took. And so I did what any recovering overachiever would do. I signed up for a class and the rest is history. Hardly. But from that first class and that first performance, I knew that I had found my thing. I was getting to write and perform and be myself, but also be a character if I felt like it. Best of all, stand-up gave me something that I never got when I was writing ads or auditioning for crummy student films and that was an audience that I could connect with. Live, in real time, in the same room, and that feeling is electric. Once I got a taste of that, I realized it was all I wanted to do. Make other people laugh. Connect with them through something joyful. And look, I know that sounds really cheesy, but it's true. Comedy is an amazing way to connect with people, and you do get the opportunity to talk about real things and tough things and scary things, but through a lens of making people happy. And I really don't think there's anything better than that. And so I started to pursue comedy. And just when I was feeling like I was making headway, like I was having some success, my first club spot on a Saturday night paid to do comedy, well, that was March of 2020. 
and we all know what happened then. But once again, life never goes the way you think it's gonna go. And sure, the pandemic took me out of physical clubs, but it didn't make me wanna stop making people laugh. And so I did the only thing I had access to do. I made a TikTok. And then the rest was history. You know, when Connecticut Girl on a Date went viral, I never thought that it would open all of these doors. That that video, that series, that creation of character would then lead to all of these other things like booking stand-up gigs, getting cast in acting roles, reaching millions of you guys, quitting my nine to five, filming my first stand-up special. Keep an eye out. And honestly, I think this is just the beginning. It was very lovely meeting you, enchanted, I'm sure. And while I start this new chapter of my stand-up story as a YouTube creator, I would love for you to come on the journey with me. So if you're interested, throw me a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.